Eko. <laughs> Hey guys, Guy Level here, and I recently put out two videos about how to improve your audio quality for live streaming or just recording. In those videos, I used VST plugins, and there are VST plugins that can allow you to do pretty much anything. So it got me thinking. About a year ago, I went to check out what those ASMR microphones were all about. You know, the ones with the ears. And then I saw the prices and I realized, wow, unless you have $400, you basically cannot afford those mics. And you guys know that I don't like when price is some sort of barrier that you have to cross in order to achieve something. If you want to do ASMR or anything else that requires binaural microphones, I refuse to believe that you need 400 bucks minimum. So I have this second microphone here. This is the Toner Q9. It sells for about $50 with all the accessories included. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll realize there's a lot of microphone companies that have pretty cheap microphones with decent quality. One example is the Fifine K669. I don't remember the name, <laughs> but you can get it for a price as low as 30 bucks. And if the goal is to have two microphones, well, $60 is cheaper than $400? Let me show you how I did it exactly. Okay, so this is my OBS. First thing I did is plug in the second microphone and then I went on settings and then on audio and then I assigned mic auxiliary audio 2 to be my second microphone. So I clicked OK and my second mic appeared here. So you see mic and mic 2. Then I right clicked on the cogwheel here and then went in advanced audio properties. Now, if your microphone is already stereo, this is like a quick check. If your microphone is already stereo, you will have this balance thing here. As you can see, none of my mics are in stereo right now. So technically you would have to just put one on left and the other one on right if you have stereo mics and then that's it. But in my case, they're both mono. So I had to go ahead and install a plugin, a VST plugin. Now I will put the link in the description, but it's called Dual Panner by a company called Sleepy Time DSP. I downloaded it from here, but I'm probably going to link to their official page if I can find it. So I downloaded the 64 bit version, which gave me this zip file. So we're going to double click on it. And then we see our two files. Technically, this DLL file is the only thing you need, but you can copy both just to make sure. So after copying it, I went in my specific directory. So that's local disk C, program files, common files, VST2. Now, if you don't have a VST2 folder, you can create one, but just know that your broadcasting software will look right here. So create the folder if you don't have it. If you have it, just go in there. And then I made a folder called dual panner. I had to create it myself. And then I just pasted the two files that we got in the zip file, okay? Now, all we have to do is go back to OBS and add it as a filter. So you would want to click on the cogwheel, click filters, click that plus here and click VST2 plugin. You can name it Panner because that's what it's going to do. Press enter and then select it in the menu right here. It's called dual Panner and then you can click open plugin interface. Now, I did this for demonstration purposes. I already have it set up. So if you click here, you will have this right there. Now you can play around with this and make it move from left to right. Also, if you're watching right now, please put on your headphones so you can hear the difference. So as I was saying, you can play around with this until it's where you want it to be, or you can just solo out the channels. Test. So now I'm on the left because the left is the only one playing. Now I'm in both. Now I'm on the right. So it's that simple. You just go on both microphones and then put one on the left, put one on the right. And now it's going to be up to you with the mic positioning. I want this to be my left microphone. So I'm going to mute the right side. Test. Close it. Put on my second microphone. I'm going to go filters. Open my panner interface. And since I want that one to be my right microphone, I'm going to mute the left side. And let's turn it on right here test there it is okay so this is my right microphone and this is my left microphone there's gonna be a slight delay because it's not the exact same microphone so let's try to position it in a certain way and that's it guys that's how you can spend like 60 bucks okay maximum 100 bucks and then get yourself a brand new old microphone i think that's pretty cool <laughs> Of course, you're not going to get the quality of a professional binaural microphone.
But I think that's pretty close. I think that's pretty close. I think that's pretty close. Okay, one thing that I would advise you to do is click on the cogwheel here near your mic. Uh, click advanced audio properties and basically turn on monitor and output. That will allow you to listen to yourself. So you're making sure that you're testing it in real time. That allows you to find the perfect position for you. Make sure you're not using speakers when you're doing that because you might get Larsen or feedback that will blow out your speakers. Make sure you're using headphones. And yeah, I know we're going to have a bunch of experts that are going to tell me that, oh, this is nowhere near binaural. Well, there are some VST plugins that actually allow you to simulate a binaural system or whatever. This is just the cheapest, the easiest, the simplest way of achieving something kind of close. Of course, mic quality is not going to match an actual binaural system and, and surround sound is not going to match either. Keep in mind that it took me 20 minutes to figure all of that out. So if you spend more time, I'm sure you can accomplish some pretty good results. Now, if you feel like your cheap mic doesn't have a great quality, please check out my most recent videos about audio quality when live streaming. And I believe that's all. If you're looking for some dope overlays to make your channel look good, go to gumroad.com slash get level. A lot of the overlays are free and then the rest is just cheap. Make sure you follow me on social media and let me know what you think about the video overall. I think it was funny. I just came up with it and I, I recorded it. But I will see you guys next time. Stay inside, wash your hands, make me proud. Get level out.